The utility industry wrestles with a challenging learning problem, training its employees to comply with critical infrastructure protection standards developed by the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission. The challenge? The material is difficult and extensive, and historically has been presented in a dry slide deck or large binder of information. Employees weren't getting it, witnessed by our utility suffering seven self-reports, two violations, a very poor on-site audit, and three audit findings, all within the first two years. The stakes? Non-compliance fines of up to a million dollars a day per incident. Oh, and of course, our national security. Enter SIP Defender. We decided to teach the business concepts of SIP compliance through a fiction that makes learners the heroes of the game. We brought in eLearning Brothers to execute our vision, and the game unfolds. Learners advanced from raw recruit to full SIP defender through the training. After completing the training, they were provided with their physical equipment, a handbook to take into the field and use for reference. The handbook, stickers, patches, dog tags, and other personal effects were packaged in a collectible binder so that opening their personal equipment is akin to an Apple device unboxing experience. The SIP Defender eLearning program consisted of five episodes with two to three chapters each. At the beginning of each section, the recruit watches an animated robotic attack on their fictional facility through the SIP Defender simulator. After witnessing the attack, the recruit then learns the SIP concept that is used to protect against these attacks. They are then given three options to implement the SIP defense. The recruit then gets to witness the robotic attack again, but now with their defense in place. At the end of each episode, the recruit is tested on the materials. Our quizzing system is based on our study of human performance principles. Learners choose answers until a correct answer is selected, with wrong answers depreciating points, but still allowing the user to pass. Wrong answers also teach why an answer is wrong, so learning happens during the test. We end up with learners who have understanding rather than learners who pass a quiz. Scores are tracked in a back-end system to help identify learners who may need targeted follow-up after the training. Since the product captures all of this valuable data from chapter length to quiz answer clicks to facility defense choices, there is quite a bit that leadership can learn about their employee base. It provides a peek into areas that need to be strengthened and employees who need one-on-one -on -one follow up. In addition to an engagement survey that reported 83% learner engagement, the utility that successfully passed its training became the first in their audit region to pass an audit with zero violations.